and it's always a great day when you've got a great opportunity and the Whiteford Bobcats certainly had one in the shadow of downtown Detroit, a rematch of last year's state quarterfinal in this year's state quarterfinal with last year's aces, Unity Nelson, up in the circle against Algonac and sending him down. Ends the first swinging. Five straight strikeouts between the first and second innings for the North Dakota commit. Zeros on the board midway through the game. Whiteford puts two on in the fourth and fifth. Both innings end the same way. Down on strikes. Muskrat's pitcher, Kenneth Bomarito, keeps it clean. This is an edge of your seat pitcher's duel. Algonac loads the bases with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Ace versus ace. Bomarito grounds to Carly Connard. Still scoreless. And the Whiteford fans still charged up, heading to the sixth. Sophomore Coralyn Belo digs in, connects with a runner on first. The throw late and away. Lily Belo comes barreling home, and the Bobcats are on the board first. Up 1 0, going to the top of the seventh. Connor gets another crack at Bomarito, and this time she makes the most of it. A bloop into shallow right scores Shea Alexander. Whiteford up 2 0, and that is more than enough for Unity Nelson. Fittingly, the final out, a strikeout. Nelson had 12 today, no runs, and one big celebration for a third straight trip to state. Definitely a relief. Once that last out comes, we've been fighting for it all season, all summer long, all winter long, as much as we can just to get back to this point. It's definitely a relief. That was probably one of the most stressful things that I've ever encountered in my life because Lily was in front of me and um, I thought that the ball was going to go foul and I was going to have to redo it. And it didn't and then the ball got overthrown so all of us just had to run. It feels amazing and the seniors who are leaving, it's going to be really hard to go to Lansing and know that those are our last games. So cherishing what we have now and all the practices we have left in the games and I really think that we're going to be able to do what we haven't been able to do for the last two years because our bond is stronger and we've worked very hard and very well as a team. The Bobcats face Claire Friday morning at Michigan State's Secchia Stadium. First pitch at 10 a.m. Back-to-back runner-up finishes is the third time the charm the state championship Saturday at 3.